Welcome back guys to another exciting game review and today it's Book of Hours. So this game is tricky to review. It's a spiritual sequel to Cozy Simulator so if you played the first game that should give you a vague idea if you'd enjoy this game or not. The game is much more expensive than the previous one but truthfully I felt it to be a kind of a letdown. We've gone from being a cult leader who seeks a godhood to being a librarian. The game can say whatever it wants about how the librarian will have the power to reshape the world, but it's an involved attribute, except maybe at the ending. We don't feel powerful. We don't really feel like we're a schoolers of the invisible world. We don't feel like we're a part of the wider world that we want to explore. The first game felt like it had enormous avenues for the further explorations of the world of the Owls, but Book of Owls feels almost regressive. It doesn't add much to our understanding of the world. Cold Simulator didn't have much story, but the Book of Owls has almost none. I played through entire game, exploring every room and reading every book. I didn't get an ending, so the game isn't finished yet. I never looked at Wikis at walkthroughs, so it's possible I was playing the game completely wrong, but it just wasn't very much fun. There are no real problems to deal with. You just open more and more rooms and read more and more books. The alchemy system is cool, but without a good, it's also pretty frustrating. Compare that to the first game where things were actually out to get you. The game suggests that one of its goals was to be a low-stress version of Koto Simulator and they succeeded in that admirably but I'm not sure if this was a goal to strive for. I sank almost 70 hours into the game, so I was clearly motivated to keep playing, but once the house was explored and all the books were read, I just didn't feel like the motivation to keep going. My biggest complaints for the gameplay are definitely for the UI. In some ways the UI is actually worse than the Koto Simulators. Cota Simulator allowed you to have a big game board so that you could organize all your cards in whatever you made sense to you. This lets you keep the frequently used cards where you want them. Books of House doesn't do that. In Auto Sorts, your cards for you, and it tends to sort alphabetically, which is the absolute worst way to sort cards in this kind of game, because every new card potentially moves to the others around and means we can adapt to knowing where any individual card will be. Also, it amazes me that there is no shortcut to take you to the village from the house and uh, vice versa, because you will be doing a lot. This game feels like it wasn't play tested very well. Is it worth playing? I'm still a big fan of this universe, so I'm glad that I got it. But I can't really describe it this fun. It's a game that is heavily into exploration, but if we were worried about it, that might be in rooms that we were exploring, or if we were dealing with external threats while we did so, the game would have been much improved. The game structure is much more open-ended than Cult Simulator and that may not be a good thing. Cult Simulator ended quickly. If you weren't playing right and forced you to start over with a new strategy. I never got a game over in this game at all and I have no idea if I can still get an ending at all where I stopped. I tried to get every single skill and unlock the whole skill tree. But by the end of the game, my highest skill was only level 8, and I couldn't get more lessons to upgrade them anymore. I had a very broad but not tall tree. This makes me wonder if this squandered the 50 plus hours only to soft lock my game. The game never suggests you that you shouldn't play this way. Also, it feels like a lot of your skills can easily be worthless. If you put the skill into the wrong tree, and I have no idea why you would know not to do this without a strategy guide, then you might find that free is no workshop in the house for you to upgrade your attributes with that skill. Final verdict, the game is a very flawed and not too much, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed for an Exile scale expansion pack that reinvents the game the same way that Exile did the original. Thank you guys for watching this review.